So, to do this, you will come into a pose where your foot is in your groin. You are on the knife edge of your foot. Okay, that's to protect your knee. And then you will try to roll over onto your hip. Stay in here if you do not have that flexibility and you're finding that you're rolling here to avoid any pain. Make sure your shoulders are down, your chest is up, and your body is open to the possibilities of the movement. Make sure there's no pain in your lower back. That means that you have to bring your belly button into your spine, your pelvis into your body so that you can avoid any back pain. From here, once you are doing a few flossing movements, rolling over onto the hip flexor, making sure there's space, you can bring your leg in, holding on to the inside where the ankle is, and you can just start to bring the foot in and out. That's opening up the quadricep, the front of the thigh, and the hip flexors. You can keep rocking as well a little bit as long as there's no back pain to floss through the whole front section of your leg and the hip flexor. If you're feeling comfortable there, you can bring it down for a little bit of a stretch and hold here before you take it to the next section. So from here, usually we would grab onto the foot and do the flip grip for the king pigeon, but this time we're going to place the toes into the elbow, okay? So this is gonna be where you hold. And if you find that you have balance and can take your hand off, you can stay here and start here by grabbing on two hands. If you still have room for movement and you feel like your balance is comfortable, bring your hand up over, lift up into the shoulders and bring your arm back. From there it is behind your head, your head is not pushing forward, your head is open, your chest is open, your shoulders are down. And grab your hands together and then start nice slow breaths looking forward. And here is your mermaid variation. It's a great alternative to the flip grip, which is the king pigeon here. For a lot of people do not have that shoulder opportunity, so you still get all the benefits of the pose without the restrictions of the shoulders. So I hope you enjoy and have fun playing with it. Enjoy the journey. Remember, it's the expansion in the process, not the destination. Don't forget to subscribe. Namaste.